Sandy? Listen closely and remember everything I say. Drive south towards the border for 20 minutes. Stay off the main roads. You will reach an inlet called Fisherman's Cove. When the clock strikes 11.33, go to the railroad diner. There will be a man there wearing a green jacket. His name is Sneed. Say to him, good weather for hunting game. He'll tell you to follow him. Do everything he says. There's an ancient grove near here. That's where she'll meet us. Sandy. Oh my God. I thought I'd never see you again. Is everything okay? We're, we're together again. Everything's fine. Thank you, Sneed. Stay safe, Sandy. You'll drive me back to your house. To our house? Yeah. Let's go. Holy shit. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Who were those people? And what are they doing outside our house? Just keep driving. We need to find somewhere else to sleep. What the hell is going on? They're looking for me. Why? Because they miss me. They miss you? Sandy, this isn't normal. And why are you talking like you're on drugs? I'm not on anything. This isn't normal. I... <laughs> I searched everywhere for you for over a year. There are people at my house. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. You know I bought a gun? Because everything has fallen apart. We had everything. We had a house. We were engaged with enough investments to retire by 50. We almost had a child. You know, only one of those mattered to me. Well, the solution to a miscarriage, Sandy, isn't to run away to a cult, it's to rebuild our home. Retreat felt like home to me. I didn't have to be the good housewife. I didn't have to follow your stupid rules, religiously follow stock investments and read numbers. Problem is, you've got too much to lose by telling the truth. <laughs> oh my god. So we start right back off where we left off. Why did you come back? If you hate it so much here, why did you even come back? Because I missed you. We need someone like you. Mark. Hmm? Can I take you somewhere? Huh? 